Hello there, this is Sean Greasley and welcome to Volume 1 of the Visual Basic Tutorial. I will be using Microsoft Visual Studio 6.0 in which you can gain the Visual Basic package from that setup. Okay, so when you open your package you will be presented with the new project. If not, simply click File, New and it will present you with this little window here. To open a new project we click the standard EXE and press OK. OK. This is our interface here. You can resize it to what we want. And this is the form that the user will see. We are going to use the command button option here. And there we go. We can change the caption of this button by changing the caption command. Hello world. We can change the name of the component. CMD hello world okay right for each component you add on your form here whether it be a timer it could be a button or anything you like really it could be a text box each one of these components has different properties down here for example if we click the text box it's got a name the name is used for your coding reference only nothing to do with the visual aspects of it so if we change the name of it, we can refer to it in the code as txt1 or something like that, whatever you like. It is good coding practice for command buttons to use cmd text txt time tmr etc. It's good coding practice so when you refer to command buttons in the code, you know that this command button is cmd hello world you'll find it much useful when programs get more demanding okay there's quite a lot of other properties down here as well such as back color the appearance um, the caption as we've just changed I just like to stress that this ampersand here it puts a little line under the H so we can tab to it we've got the down picture all stuff like that so it's best to explore with properties for each of these components Okay, now to make it, uh, our program say hello world. Double click it, you will open yourself in the coding window. Alternatively, you can click the coding window up here. You can view your objects and different things. So Now we're inside the command button we have just created. As you can see, it's a private sub, and this is the name of the button. Otherwise, we'll just have command one dot click. We won't know which button that is, so it's good to name your components. Okay, let's try and make our program say hello world. What I'm using here is the message box command. When the user clicks the button, as you can see, this is the event which will occur. That's our command button. That's the timer we added. That's the text box. So, with our command button, as you can see, we've already done click there's the click event when the user drags and drops it anything you like so it's good to have an explorer of that as well but for this example we'd like the user to click this command button so when the user clicks this command button we're going to use the message box command to display a message box to the user hello world okay with the message box command it's pretty easily laid out because when you first type message box visual basic displays a little yellow line here and this basically says what it's asking for so we've already done the prompt section now we want the style of the text box here we'll have VB question and now the title of the message which we'll put hello world message box okay and that should do when we run our program this is how you run your program using this play button at the top click our hello world button and there it is hello world as you can see we've used VB question so it's made a little question mark ball here and the title is hello world message box which is the third parameter we used here you can also add a few other things like help files context so have a play around with that okay this has been Sean Greasley you have been listening to volume one of the Visual Basic compilation and goodbye